All right, first day on the Java Volvo, and it is heaven. We have a bunch of XC90s, XC60s, XC40s, C40s, S90s. It's huge and epic. This is it, everyone. Welcome. My name is Michael, and today we're discussing about selling my dream brand. We're sitting in an XC90 right now. Fantastic. Let's get into it. There we go. There's the store. And here is our inventory. And as you see, we have rows and rows and rows of XC90s. A bunch of them. One of my favorite cars is the C40. And also, I am a fan of the XC60s. So, we definitely, definitely are at the right place. And then, as you can see, my S60 is all the way in the back. But this is perfect. Look at that. That is perfect. There's nothing anyone can say that will change my mind against Volvo. It is a product I feel very passionate about. Had a 2007 S80, crash total. Have a 2015 S60 now. And my next dream car is the next C90. The T8, the Recharge. 400 horse. It's a fantastic car. And I'd also love an S90 in the future. And I'm a big fan of the EX90 coming out. First of all, Infinity, no EVs or hybrids currently. There are plans, but there's still a little bit of ways where Volvo already has been in the hybrid game for many years. Infinity did have hybrids a couple of years back, but they were rare and stopped producing. Which is very interesting because they had a 2016 QX60 that was a hybrid and a 2016 Q50 that was a hybrid, if I recall correctly, or 2014, something like that. Um, that looks like a cloud, but that also looks like something would be burning off in the distance. Actually, that looks more like it's burning. Is that? Yeah, that's a little strange. Anyways, I'm very excited to be here. Um, we're in the training period right now, so we're getting paid a salary this month. And it is going to be exciting tomorrow. We're going to take our first customers. I don't know a whole bunch about the new inventory. But we're going to learn. It seems rather easy, especially if you're passionate about it. If you have that passion to sell, it's going to be 10 times easier because you believe in it no matter what. Is it as luxurious as a Mercedes? It can be. Is it as reliable as a Toyota? It can be. You have to feel that confidently. Is it a safe car? 100%. Yes, I can say that because we were involved in a totaled car crash where uh, airbags went off. We hit a BMW. The BMW hit a Toyota. The car still rolled away, was fine after the engine was shut off because, you know, that was a safety feature so it doesn't burst into flames, but you were able to turn it back on again. Cracked windshield, airbags deployed. Um, there was uh, front bumper damage. There was panels that were damaged, but it, it drove just fine. And I still drove it without repairing it for the next couple months. And, and we were driving it a little faster than we should have and more miles than we should have. But it, that, that proved to me that even back then, a 2007 Volvo S80, I truly believed I saw videos where Volvos were hit by trucks back then and people survived, everything was fine. I truly believed that if a truck hit me in that car, Yes, at the proper angle, at the proper speed, no matter which car you're in, probably fatal. But I have definitely a better chance than sitting in a older Toyota. And I've driven Toyotas as well. I've had Fords. I've had uh, various vehicles that I didn't feel as safe or as comfortable in as a Volvo. And it's not the same repair cost as a Mercedes, Audi, Porsche. Yeah, they're exciting. They're fun sports cars. But Volvo's not trying for that segment. It's a very niche segment. Well, that is... 100% burning. Yeah, 100%. I'm curious what that is. We'll check it out because we're extending now. We'll check it out. But anyways, I'm pumped. I'm pumped about this because I see there's great potential to earn a lot of money. We could get out of our debt here. Um, and it should be relatively easy. I think we have a great opportunity here. Team's great so far. Everything seems like this is the perfect store. And out of all the Volvos in the location, this one's great for my ears. 
it's not it's not loud at all whereas at the infinity store you had ambulances constantly this is awesome I'm, I'm very excited i'm very happy i'm gonna share the next steps in the journey finally some positive news so the craziest thing just happened i am low on fuel i don't have fuel and i did a uber eats delivery that was on the way to the gas station super cheap gas station woodman's love it because it's right next to one of the cheapest and largest grocery stores in illinois and i love it but i withdrew 20 dollars. i went to the pump it only let me you know pump in like three dollars 90 cents or whatever and then boom insufficient funds and i check and an application automatically took my money my $20, they couldn't wait literally a minute more. I needed fuel. I need fuel because I'm not going to get home at this point. It's crazy. And I keep having to, you know, pick up fuel, uh, pick up money from Uber, DoorDash, whatever, after work or on my day off, like today, Sunday, just to be able to pay for fuel because I, I, I keep driving on E because I never have enough money to, to be able to pay for anything. And now I need to put oil in my car and can't even afford the the god i have nothing not even a single dollar a single dollar on any of my accounts anywhere anything i mean i'm just selling what i can at this point yesterday i sold a vinyl record for 15 bucks i had it for like six seven years finally someone someone gave uh, gave it a go and uh bye bye vinyl record that 15 bucks went into the gas tank and that's why we were able to do uber doordash today but um that application was one of those you know payday apps whatever you needed 30 dollars. it's not paid off i can't take out anymore and i couldn't send it to my other bank account because i have other applications that i haven't paid i have not paid my car insurance which is really bad because i have a claim currently where if i don't pay my car insurance there is a slight possession uh, there's a slight chance of repossession because you need car insurance if it lapses uh, or they're going to force you to get car insurance, which is going to be super expensive, or they're not going to pay up for my claim. Uh, I have not paid my health insurance. I've not paid uh, my phone bill. I'm not going to be able to pay rent. I'm not going to be able to pay, you know, groceries, gas, any necessities for probably the next two weeks. That's my get first paid in, in like 10 or 11, actually 11, 12 days. And we can't even do Uber because at this point we just never have enough money. To, to put gas in the gas tank. I mean, this is crisis. This is beyond crisis mode. Uh, I've loaned from everybody I could. I had personal loads, uh, loans with friends, family, loans. I'm asking for an advance at work. Hopefully that goes through a couple hundred bucks at the very least, you know, something because we do get paid a salary for the first month. So that's nice. So hopefully I can get an advance on that. Um, it, it's just so brutal i have payday apps i have like every every possible avenue you could think of of try to get money been there done that yesterday after work you know super tired whatever spent nine hours at the dealership had to do an additional like three four hours of uber because i um i didn't have enough money to pay my wife back and she went to the hair salon and the hair salon raised their prices and we owed them like 35 bucks or whatever and it took me like four hours to make that and and it was just it was a disaster bro it's it's like every single day i for the past couple of weeks haven't had money my like there's a bunch of bills that are going unpaid and it's not like oh i can pay some no i just i've got nothing i've got nothing really left to sell uh, besides a bunch of boxes of hats, which I, I mean, the only offer I got right now is 80 bucks, but I spent over a thousand dollars for, if I recall correctly, I mean, something like that. Um, there's a bunch of these hats where I got to sell them, which by the way, I'll show you guys. So yeah, I'm trying to, I, I think I'm just going to head to the beach one day and just try and sell them there for five bucks a piece because there's 600 hats and they're, they're very nice hats. It's just, um, in Chicago, you need a peddler's license, which costs $169.50. Obviously, I can't afford that, and I can't afford getting a ticket, and it's like, I, I've never been in such a position where my, my credit has drastically dropped. It was in the 600s, approaching 600s, whatever, depending where you look. Now, it's you know, closer to 400, in the high 400s than, uh, you know, it's, it's low 500s, very low 500s now. So it's going to be high 400s soon at this rate because I just can't afford to pay anything. 
and uh, you know it's gonna be better I'm gonna do everything possible to be a great salesman at Volvo it's the only opportunity I have right now I've got to sell as many units as I can I've got to beat everybody else because nobody else is in a position like I am at the dealership nobody because most normal people aren't in a position like me where where you have nothing there, there's nothing to turn to there's no help I can get like oh hey here's a loan of five thousand ten thousand no there's nothing I had to oh yeah I had to do uh, I had like five thousand dollars of loans due I did extensions but I got to pay the interest I couldn't afford the interest so we got it from one app from another going to, it's like if you really knew the full extent of how bad it is, you would be like, oh my God, how do you do it? Because anybody I start really going deeply into the details and sharing it, they get stressed out. They're like, how do you do it? How do you deal with the stress? And to be honest, I don't. I uh, I scream in my car. I, I freak out sometimes because I just can't. It's impossible. Like there's, I, I don't know. I don't know. It's such a crazy position. On top of all of that, I took my Volvo in to Volvo's service because, hey, you know, maybe employee discounts and, and inspection is free. Inspection itself came up with, yes, dealerships will say super exorbitant rates, but even with employee discounts and everything. So without employee discounts, with parts and labor, I'm looking at over, I think, eight, over $8,100. $8,100 worth of work for my car, which probably since it hasn't had any work and, you know, had this nice little fender bender. Uh, I don't think I actually posted that on a, on a YouTube video yet. But yeah, I had a fender bender in Chicago from me literally parked and a guy that was inebriated. He, it wasn't my fault. He hit my car. So it, it's just going great. You know, life's really, really great. So my car that's probably worth like 8,000 bucks right now needs $8,000 worth of work. But uh, at employee rates, it's probably like 7,500, 7,000. I don't know, whatever. Uh, I'm just going to order the parts myself and eventually when I get money, I need to put oil in mine. I need an oil and filter change, but I can't afford that. I, I literally can't afford like anything. I, $5 oil and filter change. Nope. If you, if you did it for 50 cents, maybe I could scrounge 50 cents somewhere, but, uh, that's how bad it is. And this car is just, it's, it's all reliable. It's still working. It's still driving. Needs front struts, needs brakes, rotors, they're warped. Like, brakes in the back are at one millimeter. <laughs> it is great. Well, this is our second summer. We're driving with winter tires, so the tire tread is going down, and it's uneven wear. It could also be uneven wear because the front struts are going out or something. I don't know. It needs power steering, needs fluids replaced on pretty much everything because I haven't done anything except oil and filter change because i never could afford it and it's not like oh this is a super expensive car no i mean it, even the two thousand dollar toyota i had needed work done that i couldn't afford so no matter what car you gave me if it was a 500 dollars car in poland i had a 600 hundred dollar car couldn't afford that i i literally couldn't afford it no no, no man it, it's it's been an interesting downfall going from making 100k when you're 19 in a country where it's super cheap to live in to to, to this it's it's a nightmare but we're gonna get out i hope okay so check that out so cool it's just sticking out rad that's awesome man thanks for watching so no matter what happens though there's nothing nothing that is in my mind telling me, you know what, Volvo is a bad choice. There's so many other opportunities out there. No, I feel confident about this. I feel this is the right choice. I feel good about it. I feel great driving this car. I feel great at the dealership. I think this is the opportunity you've been waiting for. It's just, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough because even if I won the lottery right now, <laughs> you know, it, unless it was a huge amount, then, uh, nothing nothing no normal solution is going to save us we need to work hard and it's going to be a couple months but i have a good feeling it's going to get better so that's good so we just took a test drive in the xc40 the electric the recharge and here's one of my favorite vehicles on the lot too bad that there's so few of them an s90 what it was previously the top trim the inscription is now called ultimate and in the back, this is a perfect Uber black sedan. 
check that out except it's not well black on the exterior but if it was it'd be perfect one of my favorite is the crystal dials and the rims look very nice as well my aunt and uncle have an s90 and it's not an inscription they have an older one uh, i believe they have a momentum but it's still a very very nice car and this is definitely a dream next to the xc90 t8 gorgeous gorgeous cars xc60s xc40s and the xc90 this one's a very nice color kind of like a brownish bronze but very nice it's just such a cool and classic timeless design. I love that. But I remember seeing these S90s and the XC90s in Poland. And over there, it really was a treat. This is the Harman Kardon. I would take the Harman Kardon or even better, the Bowers and Wilkins. That is a dream right there. Look at that trim. Oh, that's very, very nice. But you honestly, similar as my S60, nice crystal mirror. I love the little touch here the Swedish flag and it is one of my favorite cars to have seen in Poland you know take it to Ikea <laughs> relax there get some Swedish meatballs honestly that was a treat for us always always we would go to Ikea get some Swedish meatballs Ikea is so much better in Poland than in Sweden than it is in America but still it is a a really really fun afternoon to be able to take something like this and just relax and there's so much to go over there's so much for me to learn here but this one is almost fully loaded i think it's the sc90 uh, s90l you got plenty of space in the back but it is the s class from volvo essentially it's not supposed to be the fastest it's not supposed to be the most luxurious but it is a great car and I'm very excited to be able to learn about these vehicles and hopefully sell a bunch of them. S90s, not so much because they're not as popular in America, but the XC90, for sure. It's, it's just such a treat. This right here is one of my favorites. Look at that, I'm six foot three and I'm able to adjust, similar to an S-Class or a seven series, the front passenger. I've got my ashtray for, of course, my cigar. If I own this car, I think I seriously would just chill in the back. I'd go to a parking lot and smoke my cigars in peace. You know, put a little bit there. And then one of my favorites, boom. We adjust it, we click it again. We can adjust this. We can open the window again honestly feels very luxurious in here close that back up because we want that sunshade and then one of my personal favorites also you don't see this many times seven series and the a8 and the s class i remember uh, someone was very surprised that the a8 the newer generation had that and i'm surprised that volvo has this and look at that tons of legroom would just be chilling here it is a very, very cool system. And then, of course, we have our climate control panel here. I can get myself heated up. Plenty of charging space. Honestly, I'm just very, very impressed with this car. Definitely a future dream car. Drives so smooth. It is insane. Check that out. Gorgeous cloud formation. Fantastic sunset. Sunset. 